Hi everyone, it's Ben. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's doing well. It is Monday, April 12th. Things are going good. I have been sticking to my diet. I have been exercising more and just been more aware of what I'm doing to improve my life and just focus on taking care of myself and doing everything that I can do to just give me a better future and a better present. I've been actually having a really great week. I did some traveling recently. I know, I know, I know what you guys are going to say, why are you traveling in a pandemic? And this was an essential travel. This wasn't something for fun, just to go on a trip. Um, I actually have a little surprise for you guys from that trip, so let me go get it. So this is the surprise. Um, I got her last Wednesday. I took the train up north for a few hours and went and picked her up, but she is my new dog, my new chihuahua. And her name is Lily Shushu, after my favorite movie, call her Lily for short. She is an all-white chihuahua. She is four years old. And her previous owners um, were looking to downsize. They just didn't have room for her and they were very busy. Both the parents worked and she wasn't getting the attention that, you know, they wanted her to have. And so they're looking for a good home for her. And they found me and I found her and she has brought so much joy into my life. She's the sweetest little girl. She's just so calm. She did so good on the train. The train, you know, we were on the train for like three and a half hours. And she just sat there the whole time, didn't bark at all, just sat there quietly. She loves being held and cuddled, and she's just so sweet. But um, I think that me and her have a stronger connection than most people and their pets may have. Um, as you can see, um, she struggles with her weight as well. She is very big for her breed. Chihuahuas are the smallest breed in the world and she is about double the weight she should be, much like me. And I figured, you know, I'm going on this journey by myself. Why not bring someone with me on this journey and help them as well? So me and her are in this together. We will be doing this weight loss journey together and we will be going on walks every day. We will be uh, dieting, exercising, and just supporting each other. And that's another reason why I find it so important for me to have her is just the unconditional love that a dog provides and just the emotional support, you know, knowing someone's always there, not to judge you, not to look down on you, make you feel bad, but just to be a friend and care about you and want to see what's best for you. And that's what she is. She is my new everything. And we're both going to get healthy together. Um, I know that this is something she's been looking for for a while. Um, I know she's very self-conscious about her weight and her size and I want to help her get over that. I see her avoid mirrors and avoid cameras. She really does not like the camera. She's very self-conscious of how she looks and hates being filmed and hates being in front of the camera and hates just seeing herself. She's disgusted by her body and no one should feel like that, especially someone as cute as her. And I know that with underneath um, all of this, there's a little tiny happy bundle of joy and I see that and I want her outside to reflect that. So I'm going to help her 
look and feel how she feels inside. I think with dogs, we treat dogs so differently than humans. We baby them and we treat them lesser than us, but I don't. I see dogs as our equals and we are equals. We're partners in this journey and I'm not going to sugarcoat things for her. I'm not going to let her cheat on her diet. I'm not going to let her skip walks. I'm going to hold her accountable and I am going to be there for her and really just put in 110% and she'll do the same thing for me. She's already been holding me accountable, keeping me active and I'm doing the same for her. I have visited a weight loss specialist veterinarian to discuss her weight loss plan and she has been put on a 200 calorie a day diet, mostly raw um, plant-based food. She does take um, B12 supplements and iron supplements, but for the most part, she is um, vegan. I think that's what's best for her. She isn't really a killer. You know, chihuahuas are small, weak dogs, and they wouldn't be, you know, hunting animals. They wouldn't be killing cows and eating cows and, you know, big animals. And they couldn't even catch up to a chicken. She's so slow. And that's why I think, and my weight loss specialist vet thinks that a vegan diet is best for her because it is closest to what she would have in the wild. And so she is mostly eat a lot of greens, broccoli, carrots. She loves fruit. She loves bananas. She's a little monkey. She loves bananas and pineapple and mango and guava. She loves tropical fruits. She's a, she's a tropical girl. She does eat quinoa and brown rice for carbohydrates and grains, but mostly it is um, raw vegan. So salads and smoothies and just fruit and vegetables. And it's taking her some adjusting. She is very used to highly processed, refined, prepackaged meals. And I am trying to get her off of that. I think it is in both of our best interests to just spend more time in the kitchen eating fresh, nourishing food, and that's that's my goal, so she's on her 200 calorie a day raw vegan diet, and as for me, I try and eat what she eats. Um, of course, I have a higher daily calorie intake than her because I am about 20 times the size of her, but Seeing what she is and seeing the effort she puts in is inspiring me to do the same. And so I have decided to go vegan as much as I can as well. I just don't think it's fair for me to have a animal, a pet, a companion, a best friend and eat other animals. Why does the life of a dog mean more than the life of a chicken or turkey or pig or cow? Who decided that? Who decides what goes on the dinner table and what goes in our laps and by our sides? I think as a pet owner, it is my job to just have the welfare of animals in mind and it would be hypocritical for me to take care of her and put my care and love to her while harming and consuming other animals. I think that is just unacceptable. Getting her has really like been a wake up call for me to go vegan and just be more aware of the animals, respect them, not eat them and just value them more. And I think as a society, we don't value animals enough. I definitely value this one. Along with our vegan diet, we will be exercising, as I said. She's already gone on 10 walks today. I'll be taking her on another one after this video. The vet and I also discussed um, good exercises for her. And we have been doing sprinting. We've been doing intervals, sprinting and walking. So 
we'll sprint as fast as we can for a minute. Sometimes she's a little slower than me, so I gotta drag her along. But we'll sprint and then walk a little bit and get her to catch her breath and then sprint. And that really tires her, her out. Um, by the end of the day, she, she just wants to be in her bed and just relax. And I do too. This is something I'm not used to, but she is my motivation. And I am hers and we're in this together. So yeah, I am excited that you all got to meet Lily Shushu. She's the sweetest little girl and you will be seeing more of her. Next video, we will be doing a weight loss update and her first weigh in. So check that out. Thank you for watching. Bye. Say bye. Bye.